Hey, what's up, Leron here. Sorry for a bit of a weird intro. I'm actually editing, it's a bit late. I'm editing a video for you about how to play, paint flowers without painting flowers. And I want us to jump into that. The goal is how do you treat a bouquet of flowers instead of as flowers as a scene, an entire scene. And I think a part of it is the magic and making it look really good. I will also direct your attention to the point where the vase meets the ground and how it's merged, the, the wash for the sunflower, the vase, and that uh, edge of the window are all merged together. And that has a huge impact, impact on how good this looks. So let's jump into the process. So this one, I, I'm just gonna make it easier on myself and kind of do my regular approach, if you will. So I have this bouquet here, flower arrangement. This is the flowers. <laughs> this circle I'm doing is the flowers. And then we have the vase itself. Kind of looks like a mushroom right now. And then we have the handle. We have a sunflower here. We have another sunflower there. And we have a lot of things going on. We'll get these in just a moment. This is the thing on which it is leaning. I'm not gonna change the composition even though I probably should have, that's fine. That's the shadow cast by the flowers. Um, one sunflower, another sunflower. And we just have a bunch of, like these, if you really wanna paint all of them, you'll have to work on it for days. I'm not gonna do that. What I'm gonna do is find a way to simplify all of these shapes. Well, let's see, let's try approaching this, not like a bunch of flowers, but rather as an impressionistic kind of painting. And we'll see if we can get something decent going. Maybe it will actually make things a little easier. I don't know. So I'm gonna start with this big mess. Um, the key for me, if I really treat this as an impressionistic, if I really want to treat this as an impressionistic kind of thing, I want to create a lot of colorfulness in the middle because it is present there. So let's try and do that. A lot of green. There's definitely a lot of green here. Um, I wonder what blue I should use. Maybe I should use this more muted one. So I'm just going to put in a bit of blue, a bit of yellow here and there, but I'll have to watch for some highlights. Okay. Um, a bit of this magenta. Just going to go for this one, even though it's probably not the smartest way to paint this thing. Just needs some, something more lighthearted. So we have a bit of orange. Maybe a bit of orange here and there. Um, a lot of light yellows there, kind of light highlights. See how it's just different? It's in the context of a larger piece. I'm not focusing on individual flowers as much. Let's even get a bit of this green here. Even though it's a strange green, let's get it. The sunflowers, I actually want to do uh, properly so and a bit of uh, lemon yellow here kind of like that and then we have all of these leaves Okay, this may end up being really bad. <laughs> You'll forgive me. Today's really a day of uh, experimentation. I will put a bit of uh, red here and there, kind of red flowers. And we'll see how it goes. Now for the vase, I'm just gonna continue, I think. So let's do this kind of a bluish mix for the shadow on the vase. It's a little cool feeling. Kind of like this. Now here's where edges come to play. I'll blend this edge like this. See? It's funny how portraits are much more straightforward to me than even this. Um, and here I'm going to need kind of a darker, I don't know if more neutral, but definitely darker mix. like this. 
So you see, as soon as I treat it like a, like an, a big scene, for some reason, for me, it's easier to tackle. Uh, maybe getting in the weeds of the colors so much like we have so far and really, you know, taking our time with it. Because I'm not accustomed to it, it's very challenging to me. Doesn't mean I shouldn't do it. I should probably do it because I'm not used to it. Um, but it's definitely a challenge. So I think this is good for a first wash. Maybe I'll just add the shadow on the vase's handle. So something like this. See? And it also, there's a shadow here. Cast by the flowers. I love this shape a lot. Like this. Um, okay, so let's try establishing the background here. Starting dark, okay, it's fairly dark. Now here's where it gets very important. Again, this shape of around the flowers, and you may want to leave a bit of a highlighted border here, okay? Um, these shapes of the flowers go like this. This has a thinner border, probably. Establish a few petals. Here we have a flower that has really sharp edges. Something like this. Probably didn't. This is where painting larger actually helps. I know we talk a lot about painting larger in the context of it being harder, but actually in some ways painting larger is easier okay uh, because then you can really see all the details properly so just know that it's something that actually can benefit you greatly sometimes you don't have to be scared of it, it can actually be a great help um, so now here we have this very interesting shape I don't even know what to make of it but we'll leave it as a negative shape here Spray some water just to keep it wet for a little longer. I do want the background to kind of uh, be similar to what you see in the reference. Um, and in the sunflower, I'll have to put extra care. Like this. And here it actually lights up a bit. So let me go with a little bit of a lighter green here. and some shapes for the petals of the sunflower and back to the dark colors dark green that's kind of a mix of uh, my green and my uh, violet and here again we have some petals showing those are terrible terrible petals sorry about that kind of messed this one up And I'm going to leave this white, I think, like that. Now take care of the other side. A bit messy, I know. But as long as the shape of the flowers kind of translates, then I'm good. Let's paint around. There is actually flower here that I forgot, kind of a lilac thing. So let's paint around that. Maybe I'll get it back later. Let me rotate this. I'm struggling. Um, struggling when I shouldn't. I know it kind of disorients, but uh, it really helps paint better. Now, here things get a little lighter. So let's try it out. I'm going to leave a gap for the lighter sections and then come back with this. Uh, I don't remember which green it was. I think it was this one, kind of a May green. And place it in here like this. So I don't know, maybe it's a bit of a mess here. Maybe I should go a little darker. Kind of like that. A bit of a mess for sure, but a bit of a sloppy pen work, but um, brush work, but whatever. I think there is some sense of light at least. That's good. Okay, let me add this flower, the lilac one. It drives me crazy to not see anything there. Uh, a bit of blue. 
in a bit of this purple. Kind of like this. There we go. Now we still haven't put the shadows on the flowers themselves, so that's going to happen in just a moment, okay? Uh, but hopefully it makes sense. Let me show you with the front camera. <laughs> so I think it looks a little better. Uh, now I'm going to start with the sunflowers because they seem kind of obvious to me. So I'm going to use the warmth that I have here left over from other paints. Um, this should be darker, funny enough. And it should help establish, it should be much darker, I think. It should help establish um, the shape of the petals. So that's one thing you want to pay attention to. Kind of like this. Kind of petals. Uh, this one's nice too. Oh, and before I do that, let's do some uh, wet and wet for the darks. Here. Maybe it's too wet to really show, so let's move on to the next one for now. A bit of orange in there. For the petals, negative, negatively create the other petals, kind of. <laughs> kind of messed up that sunflower, but that's fine. We'll just go with the flow for now. Let's use a bit of black here. Let's try it out. Because it's so dark, it doesn't even matter. I can put kind of a black color there. Um, and now let's start establishing some shadows on the flowers themselves. Now here, this is where it gets really messy. So I'm kind of squinting my eyes and trying to figure out how to do it. Um, but no real way of explaining it. It's, it's just so random. It's just looking at the patterns. If there's anything I'd like to develop a method of explaining, it's this. Um, but sadly, at the moment, I don't. Just looking at the shapes of light and shadow, leaving flower here or flower there, like this is a lighter flower that I can use and work around here. Just needs to start looking like something. Sometimes when you're tired, it's, it's harder to get these done. I don't know why I'm starting to be tired. Probably it's the talking um, orange stronger orange shadows on this red it's just an impressionistic mess is what it is that's true um i'm gonna switch to some green now and we'll try getting some petals here on this uh, sunflower hopefully that makes a bit of sense this should all be darker and in the shadow. So at least this sunflower kind of connected well, I think. Um, let's do some flowers. I'm telling you, it's so tough. It's really, when I showed you um, Jasmine Huang's work and her florals are genius. So I'm just developing more and more appreciation to her work with time. It's just insane. Let me see what you see in the monitor. Yeah, so it kind of makes sense. It's very impressionistic. Uh, but I'm really close to stopping. Because I won't get it to look better than it is now, funny enough. I think that's like the peak. Um, don't have much to add there. Maybe a bit of... The question is, in the context of the entire painting... Does it look okay? Does it look kind of like the thing it's supposed to be, which is a bouquet of flowers? Uh, but yeah, got a lot to learn, a lot to learn in that regard. Maybe we can uh, just do that to add some green kind of touches, I don't know. Again, the moment you have to bring everything out negatively is the moment of challenge. You can't really... Um, I can paint highlights, but it's just, you know, not the usual 
watercolor approach, but in any case, maybe add a bit of just random shapes here and there. Cutting through this. I don't know, I think it looks okay. I think I'll stop now. <laughs> so it's kind of, it's a scene, that's the thing. It's a scene and these are all just very highly uh, simplified and, and kind of merged together. One thing I do want to show you is um, this, if I darken the background green, it's going to look a little better because it's going to make the vases handle pop a little more. So let's do that. So if I go like this, it just shows a little better, okay? I hope that makes sense. Now uh, let's straighten out this shape here. But whew, what a session, <laughs> what a session, I'm tired. Hey, so quick note, thank you so much for watching. It was after a long live stream session, as mentioned there. Uh, it was the last demo, and I want to do more of these where I cut out just the process and share it with you as a video, because I know a lot of people uh, don't watch the live streams just because it's you know you have to be live and it's more talking, more questions. So hopefully this is a better version. Hope you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to check out all the links in the description box to the courses. I want to thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment, like, let me know your thoughts, and I will see you again in the next vid real soon.